So this is for the Kenmore. What number is this? Um, one of the Kenmores. Uh, how to how to wind a bobbin. First thing that you come over here. The first thing you need to do first and foremost is this thing needs to come out. So out like that. That ensures that the needle doesn't go up and down while you are winding your bobbin. You put your thread in. Make sure that you have a little thingy to make sure it's not going anywhere. And if you can see over here, it shows you how to wind it. So you basically need to put your thread through this right here in the top one. You don't want to do it in the bottom because I don't think you even can. Just right in between there. And then let me just. Oh, why did I use these pinking shears? All right. Next, you want to make sure that the end goes through one of the holes in your bobbin. Put it straight? Like flat, I mean? Yeah, you want it like to go that. up. And then you press it down like that. And you push it to the right. And then from here, just kind of hold on to this and push your pedal. And it'll just go naturally. At this point, I kind of just like ripping that off. Or you could alternately use scissors and then just keep going until it stops. It'll stop on its own when it's gotten to a point thanks to this thing. If I press it, it's not going to go anymore because it's gotten to the point. You take it out. You got to make sure that when you take it out, you got to press it back to where it was originally. Snip. So now you've snipped it. Now on how to put your bobbin into your machine. You want to make sure that you have it at a reverse 9. This is how I always do it. You drop it in. And right here, right in this section is a little groove that if you bring your thread over and under that groove, just let it go like that until the next step. The next step is to thread your machine. So all machines generally come with these little instructions on where to do it, but in case you don't know how to do it, I'll explain it to you. You underneath here is a little latch that you put your thread through. It's a little latch. Let's do that again. You go and just latch. Okay. Then here's one goes down, two goes over, three goes over. You want to make sure that this little thing is up. And the way that you can do that is to is to move your wheel. You go through it under and then right here is a little groove you want to make sure that your thread goes through that here's your needle now I like to thread my needles by hand in case you don't want to do that just like that so now you thread it accordingly you push you push this underneath your foot and then you bring the needle down to catch the bobbin. You pull the thread. And you pull the thread over and then it gets caught. You see just like that. And you want to make sure that both of your threads are underneath the the feet. You want to put your little thingy majig cover back on. And that's it. That's how you thread a machine. This Kenmore at least.